from Beast Cheery. Oh my god, I got another legendary piece. Okay, this is crazy. I just dropped another legendary. One-handed bow. I have so many legendary items now. I, I dropped like five legendaries today, just randomly. In the outer world. Look at it. One, two, three, four legendary pieces already, which is absolutely mind-boggling. I'm just running around here killing stuff. Like, half of them were not even from dungeons. This is absolutely ridiculous. So, today I'm gonna upgrade, update you on my uh, progress. Alright guys, it's time to talk about my progress. Uh, if I changed my mind about how free-to-play or pay-to-win this game is. And uh, I gotta say that I did have a few revelations. First of all, I'm level 45 right now. I've dropped multiple legendary items. I have a bunch of legendary items in my stash. I've dropped a lot of good gear, and I've dropped a few legendary gems. All of these legendary gems that I got are free to play. All of the regular gems I got are free to play. Uh, I, I probably can even add more gems. Like, th there is a few things about this uh, system, about the game, that I feel like is less predatory than people think. First of all, one thing that I love is that uh, when you obtain better gear, so let's say uh, this, uh, what is it called, Sh uh, shoulder pad? Okay, this helmet, let's say. Uh, right now, it's just a magic item. It's not, I mean, it's not magic, it's like, what's it called, rare, I guess? Uh, the point is, there is a better quality, there is a legendary. And let's say I uh, invested resources to upgrade this to level 3, and I also socketed a gem in, but I find a better item, I find a better legendary item. In other games, similar games, you would have to start and uh, basically you could salvage the other item for a loss and then start upgrading the new item. In this game, however, if you find a better item, it will transfer your level, your gem, and any upgrades, anything you did, to this piece that you currently have, it will transfer to a new piece free of charge without any loss whatsoever, which is honestly first time seeing it in a similar game. That is the opposite of predatory in my opinion. It means that you can just upgrade your weapons all the time without worrying that you're gonna find a better weapon to upgrade, because all the upgrades you do will transfer for free to a new piece, which is incredible. So, uh, did my view change on how pay to win this game is? It did. So, from my experience, uh, the legendary items, not that difficult to get. I'm dropping them all the time in dungeons, in, um, uh, in, uh, basically just, just the world, just from killing things. There is lots of events, you get treasure chests, you get, you get loot all the time. I keep coming back to the blacksmith to, uh, uh, just salvage all the loot all the time, and I've dropped a bunch of legendaries, and I've dropped a bunch of legendary gems, you can craft them pretty easily with runes that are pretty easy to get uh, as a free-to-play from Elder Rifts. Uh, you can get rare crests pretty regularly. However, there is one thing, one thing in my opinion, that is really, really paid to win, and it's five-star legendary gems. Uh, so basically, if you want to craft a gem, let's see, you can craft one star legendary gem, you can craft two star legendary gems without much problems whatsoever, you just need correct runes. However, five star legendary gems, there is only, well, two main ways to get them. One is to use legendary crests when you're doing Elder Rifts, and then you still have a very small chance to get them, even if you use legendary crests, which for free to play are ridiculously difficult to get. You get two from a battle pass, you get one from buying with hilts, so you can get three a month, at least. Maybe there's going to be some other ways to obtain them, I, I haven't discovered yet. But you can get at least three legendary rifts, and I think the chance to get five-star legendary gem from a rift uh, is, let's say, like I think it's like five percent. So, Every month, as a free-to-play, you're gonna have 15% chance to obtain 5-star legendary gems. Which means, on average, it takes about 6 months to get one. On average, you can get lucky and get them on the first try. 
And why is legendary five star legendary gem so important? Well, first of all, they are way more difficult, way more powerful than one or two star gems. And by way more powerful, I would say at least three times more powerful than two star gems. And getting legendary gem is just half the battle. Actually, it's not even half, it's like 1% of the battle. Upgrading legendary gems is ridiculously expensive. Ridiculously expensive. So, legendary, five star legendary gems is a huge, huge pay to win aspect of the game. But the good news is that, in my opinion, so far, it's the only pay to win experience. You can literally get anything else in this game as a free to play on a consistent basis. If you just play the game, if you grind, you can get everything else except five star legendary gems. Those are extremely difficult to get. Now, there is good news. Some people would say it's bad news. I read an article yesterday. Uh, basically, uh, some streamer spent $5,000, I'm going to assume, on legendary uh, crests in order to obtain uh, a five-star legendary gem. And he got zero. So he got zero five-star legendary gems for spending $5,000. By the way, when you hear that it takes 110,000 to max out a character in this game, 109.9 thousand, basically 99% of that money comes in form of legendary 5-star gems. Those are ridiculously difficult to get. And that guy dropped 5k and got super unlucky and got zero. Now, why do I say it's good news? It sounds like terrible news, right? Well, think about it. You spend zero dollars and you get zero and he spends five thousand and he gets zero so isn't that good news for free to play which means that dropping money on this game will not give you that much of a uh, like higher chance to get those gems so okay there is a way to pretty much buy legendary crests uh i think it's right here crest merchant or you can just do it in a shop. You can buy. Uh, you, you can buy. Let's see how how much how expensive is is this. If you go to the shop, we can see. Uh, I didn't buy a single bundle, by the way. I'm still completely free to play. I hope you're proud. And I got 900 platinum. As soon as I get 3,000 platinum, I'm gonna create my own clan. Uh, it's gonna take 10 days, pretty much, to grind 3,000 platinum. Pretty easy. Uh, however. You guys, if you're guys playing on the Fallen server, you should add me to your friend list. Uh, because when I create clan, I'm going to invite all my friends. And now I'm going to create a warband very soon. So if you want to be in my warband and if you play on the Fallen, or if you haven't started playing the game yet, but it looks interesting to you, I'm going to show you one piece of gameplay in the end of this video that might entice you to try it out. Uh, so if, you, if you're playing on the Fallen server... You uh, drop me a friend request. We're gonna we're gonna make some things happen. We can l run rifts together and doing all this fun stuffs. So you can buy one legendary crest for 160 of these uh, whatever this currency is called. I forgot. Uh, what is it called? Eternal orbs. Here we go. So 100 dollars in this game. Best deal ever. We'll get you 7,200 of Eternal Orbs, which will uh, translate into... God, math is difficult. Let's say 50. It's definitely less than 50, but let's say 50. It's about like 47 or something like that. So 50 crests. So it makes one legendary crest cost you around $2 if you buy, if you buy this. Uh, if this is true that it's 5% chance, let, let me double check, what's the, what's the chance to get 5 star legendary? Yeah, it's exactly 5%, and it's most likely you're gonna get, uh, 2, rank 2. I mean, with 2 stars filled in. The chances to get 5 stars filled in is point, point five percent So most likely you're gonna get 2 or 3 stars filled in. Well, that, that's not the point right now. Let's just take 5%. So we need 20 legendary crests per 5-star legendary gem, which means you get about 2.5 legendary gems 
for every hundred dollars spent most likely two stars now to gain most of the power you need to get them to five stars and then there's also uh, i think ranking up which i don't know how expensive that is but i'm, I'm gonna assume that's very expensive so wait how how the hell do people spend five thousand and do not get a single one i don't understand with these chances you should be able to get like two and a half per one hundred dollars something doesn't end up right oh five 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 he was looking for five stars filled in the chance of that are again 0.05 percent so that makes way more sense but he definitely got some five star gems they're just not filled in how much Actually, I don't know. What's the difference between uh, five stars, let's say, with two stars filled in and five stars with five stars filled in? How do you fill in the stars? Again, I haven't reached that point yet, but my point stands. I agree. Five star legendary gems are extremely pay to win. As a free to play player, you'll be getting one every couple of months, probably. And it's probably going to be just two stars filled in. Getting five out of five, the chances are ridiculous. So, apart from that, you're fine. You're going to be able to get everything else as a free-to-play. And the dungeons are pretty fun to run. And it's super satisfying to find yourself a legendary uh, piece of gear or legendary gem dropping from <laughs> Rare Crest. It happened to me today. That was amazing. It was one star legendary gem, but it still feels good. Now, wh what does it mean to have a five star legendary gem? Pretty much, if you have all five star legendary gems, you're going to be between two to four X stronger than people who do not have a single one. Depends on the levels, depends on the stars filled in and the ranks of the gems. 2 to 5x. No, to 4x. I, I don't know the exact numbers. The point is, at least twice more powerful. Which means in PvP, you're pretty much going to have zero chance to win against those people. But, good for us. This game has a lot of PvE content. You can completely skip PvP, and that's probably what I'm going to do, because I'm not a huge fan of PvP on in any game after all so i'm gonna if you are if you're enjoying pvp con pve content if you like grinding dungeons with your friends and collecting loot you're gonna still have fun you might you, you you may skip pvp completely or you can like maybe rank at least somewhere so you can get some some sort of reward but like how many games can you expect to be in like top ranks in pvp like Every single game, PvP has insane uh, pay-to-win factor to it. However, there is a few things we can do, in my opinion, to make it better. So this is my advice to Blizzard. Not that they're going to see this video, but maybe they will. Who knows? How to make the system more fair. So uh, the only system that I think needs uh, rework and making it more fair at the moment... Okay, not the only, but like the most pressing one is the Legendary Gem system. In my opinion, so if we go right here in the battle pass, so as free-to-play players, I'm going to assume this is going to be every single time, we get two legendary crests. Wait, did I say it wrong? Is there only one? It looks like there is only one legendary crest. Which is kind of sad. So you get one from the battle pass, and then you get one from the hilts, so you get only two per month as a free-to-play. Am I wrong? Anyway, the point is, I feel like those crests that you get for grinding for free-to-play players, they should have more chance to drop legendary gems. Like, somebody can just go drop 100 bucks and get 50 of those crests. And in my opinion, those crests should still give you a good chance to get uh, five-star legendary gems. But the ones that we get for free... They should have higher chance because they are so much more difficult to get. And I feel like it's going to close the gap between free-to-play and pay-to-win a little bit. So that would be awesome. Also, maybe a purchase limit on legendary crests. Like per day, you cannot buy more than 10, let's say. Again, they need to make money. They need the whales to drop stacks of money like fast because a lot of people are going to get bored with the game and leave, so they want people to spend as much money as possible. So I guess that limit is ne never going to happen. But if we do buff, like if we increase the chances to get uh, legendary gems and five-star legendary gems from, uh, from legendary crests at least two times, 
for free to play crest like make it like enhanced legendary crest that free to plays can get I feel it's gonna close the gap a little bit between free to play and pay to win. Also, another thing they can do is to add a small tiny chance to get legendary five star legendary gems from rare crests. Make it ridiculously small, but at least it's something that can happen to a free to play. Right now, there's no way to get five star legendary gems from rare crests, from regular crests. Another thing, in my opinion, for PvP, like I haven't reached the PvP, I haven't tried any PvP yet, but. I played Raid Shadow Legends, and the way they do it, uh, they have like contests, the leaderboards, and they don't just throw everybody on the same leaderboard, they separate people, so the whales end up pretty much on the same leaderboards, and other people who don't spend that much or free to play, they have their own leaderboard. So maybe we can do something like, like that here. So we have multiple tiers of leaderboards, and the more people spend, the higher, like, they, they, they end up on different leaderboards. In my opinion, that will make it way more fair where whales compete with whales, smaller whales compete with smaller whales, and free-to-play compete with other free-to-play. That would make a lot of sense because whales would still have an incentive to, to whale because they, they, they have other whales to, to, to beat, but at least free-to-play players will not get into the mix and wouldn't have to compete for leaderboard places with extreme whales. That's another thing that, in my opinion, would help the game a lot and then, of course, there is another way to get 5-star Legendary Gems, uh, is to gamble. You can gamble uh, pretty much runes that you can grind, kinda. You can gamble the runes uh, for gems, as, as, as we saw earlier. Like here, we have Random Legendary Gem. This has a chance to drop a 5-star. Again, I wish they told us the chance. So you, you can basically buy these runes with embers. Uh, and craft these once in a while, but I think the chance to get this 5 star should be much higher because this is the one of the gems you get for grinding. You have to grind rifts to collect runes to, to, to be able to craft this, so again, in my opinion, this chance should be increased. I don't know what the chance is, but it should be increased. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I definitely discovered some of the pay-to-win aspects of this game, and it's a little bit too much, but again, it's nothing more than pretty much any other game in the same genre. I played Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, Raid Shadow Legends might be a little bit better, but like Marvel Future Revolution is pretty much the copy of this game. Absolute copy to the T is just uh, in the Marvel Universe. It has exactly the same systems, exactly the same monetization tactics. And in my opinion, this game is a little bit more fair than Marvel Future Revolution. But yeah, I would definitely want to see improvement because people complain a lot and hopefully enough people complaining will make them uh, increase the chances for legendary gems. And I'm joining the camp. I'm complaining. I want the change to the legendary five-star legendary gems system. That's it. And now if you guys are considering to play this game, I want to show you my favorite dungeon, which is absolutely ridiculous. J just look at this. This is, this is crazy. Kikura's Rapids, in my opinion, one of the best dungeons, at least, like, visually. I'm, I'm not talking about the loot, but, like, look how beautiful this is. You're progressing through the jungle for the first part, but then it's gonna get really crazy. You're basically killing monsters, getting some loot. Oh, boy! And now we're swimming on the raft. On, in the river. And we have enemies attacking us. This is so freaking cool. There's a lot of different, like, interesting twists like this in many dungeons. Like, in one dungeon, you are falling on the elevator, and there is a giant uh, centipede attacking you from each angle. This is... Oh, God! This is incredible. We almost made it to the turn. <laughs> almost. Gonna avoid the fire so these guys will die. Easy! <laughs> and we continue to swim now. And you know what is cooler than one raft? Two rafts! 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the le challenge level is getting really more challenging. Like, I'm getting close to dying multiple times in this challenge, which is pretty cool. The rafts connect again, beautiful. Oh god. Oh my freaking god, we're falling from the waterfall. Oh. <laughs> that was sick. Oh my goodness, alright. Now we have a boss. Where's my boy? Where's my boy? We need help. Okay, I got a terrible teammate for this raid. He doesn't... Like, he barely does anything. Here we go. There, here is my teammate. When she is already almost done. Right on time. I'm destroying them with my knives. That is a sick attack. And just like that, did we get any legendaries? Not this time, it's okay. But that was fun! <laughs> On the raft and falling from the waterfall. This was amazing. Alright guys, Diablo Immortal. Not a single dollar spent. Hundreds of dollars worth of fun had so far. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna feel the pain of free-to-play very soon when I hit level 60. But for now, I'm enjoying it. And the next update is gonna be probably when I hit level 60. And maybe I'll, I'm... But that, by that point, I'm gonna have some tips to share. To, uh, like, what to do as a free-to-play and how to get the most out of the game for now. If you wanna follow my journey... Oh! <gasps> hidden layer! We need to find it. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe for more. Take care.